Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, Quran Weekly. This is Abdul Nasser Jangda coming to you with yet another episode of Stories of the Prophets. Inshallah, today we're talking about Musa alayhi salam, the most commonly, you know, frequently mentioned prophet of Allah in the entire Quran. And the story of Musa alayhi salam is fascinating. Different, different parts of the stories uh, of the story are featured at different places within the Quran. I'm going to share a really powerful scene. Not just a part of the story, not just an event. I'm going to share a scene with you from the life of Musa alayhi salam that is shared with us in the Quran by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself. So in Surah Taha, I'm taking this particular selection from Surah number 20, Surah Taha. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, وَلَقَدَ أَرَيْنَاهُ آيَاتِنَا كُلَّهَا فَكَذَّبَ وَأَبَى Talking about Fir'aun that we showed him all of our signs, but he rejected them and he refused. He called them a bunch of lies. قَالَ أَجِئْتَنَا لِتُخْرِجَنَا مِنْ أَرْضِنَا بِسِحْرِكَ يَا مُوسَى He said, did you come to us to kick us out of our own land, O Musa? Is that what you're here? You're, you're here to try to use your magic and kick us, kick us out of our own lands? فَلَنَأْتِيَنَّكَ بِسِحْرٍ مِثْرِهِ فَجَعَلْ بَيْنَنَا وَبَيْنَكَ مَوْعِدًا لَا نُخْلِفُهُ نَحْنُ وَلَا أَنْتَ مَكَانًا سُوَى He said, all right, well, I'm going to bring some magicians as well, just like the magic that you do. So Musa, I want you to fix a place, fix a time, fix a place where we won't, you know, flake, neither will you, and everyone's going to show up and it's going to be an open space in front of everybody. So Musa alayhi salam said, all right, I ain't afraid of you. مَوْعِدُكُمْ يَوْمُ الزِّينَةِ وَأَنْ يُحْشَرَ النَّاسُ الدُّحَى Musa alayhi salam said, yeah, well guess what, we're going to meet on a holiday, يَوْمُ الزِّينَةِ which was like a national public holiday. Nobody's at work, everybody's off from work, everybody's off from school. National public holiday. وَأَنْ يُحْشَرَ النَّاسُ الدُّحَى And all the people will be gathered in like the morning time, right before noon, duha, in the morning time, before noon. Why that time? Because the light is out, the sun is high, and everything is visible. Everyone is there and everything is visible. So he said, okay, that's fine. So Fir'aun went from there, from this, this, this setting of the terms, and went and basically got his game plan together. So before I tell you anything more, what the plan of Fir'aun was, that Fir'aun basically sent scouts out into his kingdom, said, find me every single magician that you can find, bring them all here together. They were all brought to Fir'aun, and when they got together with Fir'aun, then they basically said that, okay, Fir'aun, if we beat Musa, then you obviously get what you want, what's in it for us. And he's like, I'll make y'all all VIPs, I'll give you government positions. You'll be set for life. So now everything is good to go, everything is set. The big day arrives, it's the time for the showdown. Before they head out, just to kind of discuss the terms, make sure everybody understands what's going on here, Musa alayhi salam is meeting with these magicians. Now Musa alayhi salam says to them, Waylakum, what are y'all doing? Don't lie upon Allah, meaning don't lie about these things. Don't go out there and support this falsehood and put lies on Allah. He will crush you. He will destroy you with punishment. And everyone who has ever defied Allah, that person has always suffered. That person has always been ruined. فَتَنَازَعُوا أَمْرَهُمْ بَيْنَهُمْ Now Musa a.s. says what he's got to say to them and he walks out of their locker room. Imagine it's before the game, there's a stadium, there's an arena, there's hundreds of thousands of people gathered there together. Musa a.s. goes into their locker room and tells them, what are y'all doing? You know this is wrong. Why are you supporting this? Don't ruin yourself because of Fir'aun. Musa a.s. walks out of the locker room after sharing his message. فَتَنَازَعُوا بَيْنَهُمْ أَمْرَهُمْ فَتَنَازَعُوا أَمْرَهُمْ بَيْنَهُمْ Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us what? They start fighting amongst one another. They start fighting and pushing and shoving and arguing with one another. Because they're saying like, what Musa alayhi salam is saying makes a lot of sense. So they start fighting with each other. وَأَسَرُّوا النَّجْوَىٰ And they said, shh, shh, be quiet, be quiet. Fir'aun will hear that we, don't, that we, that we have doubts, that we're flaking. 
قالوا so some some of them they get up and they say in hadhani lasahiran Musa and Harun they're just two magicians yuridani an yukhrijakum min ardikum bi sihrihima wa yadhhaba bi tariqatikum al mutla they just want to kick you out of your lands using their magic and then they want to replace your way of life they want to destroy your way of life fa 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 ajma'u fa ajmi'u kaydakum thumma atu saffa wa qad aflaha al-yawma man istala and they said so gather yourselves together fa ajmi'u kaydakum get yourselves together thumma atu saffa and form into lines you know how we operate we practice this we did drills we got this down so get yourselves together and then line up into your rows wa qad aflaha al-yawma man istala today whoever wins will succeed so we got to win we got to succeed success is ours victory is ours we got to win today we got to beat these two today and they march out now i want you to imagine Musa and Harun alayhim assalam standing out there two men by themselves and out come marching out some of the narration say there were 70,000 magicians some narration say there were 70 magicians in either case there's dozens of them they come marching out Can you know when a couple of hundred people, a couple of thousand people march together, the ground shakes. The ground is shaking. This huge battalion of magicians come walking out the other side. Imagine how it looks, how uneven it looks, how intimidating it would be. قالوا, they say, يا موسى, إما أن تلقي وإما أن نكون أول من القى. Are you going to go first or should we go first? They showed a little bit of courtesy. They said, you can go first if you want or we'll go first. قال بل ألقوا موسى عليه السلام said y'all go first فإذا حبالهم وعصيهم يخيل إليه من سحرهم أنها تسعى they threw down their staffs their sticks and ropes and they did a trick it was an optical illusion it was trickery that it looked like that they were snakes that they were moving around فأوجس في نفسه خيفة موسى. And I want you to get the scene in your head. These dozens, hundreds of magicians are standing there. They all throw down ropes and sticks, and next thing you know, they look like they're moving. They look like snakes, serpents that are alive. Musa Ali Salam is standing there with his brother Harun, just two guys. There's thousands of people there yelling and screaming and cheering, and 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 you know berating them, heckling them. And they throw down in what looks like hundreds of snakes. Now the entire ground is full of hundreds of snakes. Musa Ali Salam, when he sees that, فَأُوْجَسَ فِي نَفْسِهِ خِيفَةً مُوسَى Musa Ali Salam just felt just a little bit of fear deep down inside. And the Quran says, فَأُوْجَسَ فِي نَفْسِهِ He didn't show it. He kept a brave face. He kept his game face on. But he felt it deep down inside. And Allah knew he felt that inside. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells him at that time, قُلْنَا لَا تَخَفْ We said, oh Musa, don't be afraid. Don't you dare be afraid. إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ الْأَعْلَى You and only you can win today. You and only you will win today. وَأَلْقِ مَا فِي يَمِينِكَ Remember what I taught you, Allah said. When I asked you, in the beginning of Surah Taha, Allah asked Musa alayhi salam, وَمَا تِلْكَ بِيَمِينِكَ يَا مُوسَى What's in your right hand, O Musa? He said, remember I taught you? وَأَلْقِ مَا فِي يَمِينِكَ Throw down what's in your right hand. تَلْقَفْ مَا صَنَعُوا It will literally eat everything they've made. إِنَّمَا صَنَعُوا كَيْدُ سَاحِرُ They've just performed a little bit of trickery. وَلَا يُفْلِحُ السَّاحِرُ حَيْثُ أَتَى And a magician will never ever be successful. So Musa alayhi salam takes his staff, says Bismillah by the command of Allah and throws it on the ground. It becomes a huge serpent moving around rapidly back and forth. People seeing it are terrified like, oh my God, what is this thing? It's like a huge serpent. And it goes through the entire field and literally swallows up, gobbles up the hundreds of ropes and sticks that they had thrown down. A minute ago, this entire field was filled with snakes, what looked like snakes. And Musa a.s. serpent goes on the loose and literally within seconds, within minutes, it clears out the entire ground, comes all the way back to Musa a.s. He grabs the snake again and it turns back into a staff with those ropes and staffs nowhere in sight. Now the whole place goes pin drop silent. It is completely quiet in there. 
Not a soul is even breathing. People are holding their breaths. They can't believe what they've just seen. And then what happens? They hear a huge thud on the ground. Boom! The ground shakes. And what happens? فَأُلْقِيَ السَّحَرَةُ سُجَّدًا All of those hundreds and thousands of magicians fall into sujood before Allah. قَالُوا آمَنَّا بِرَبِّ هَارُونَ وَمُوسَى And in one voice in unison, making the walls of that auditorium, that arena, that stadium shake, they say, Amanna bi Rabbi Haruna wa Musa. We have believed in the Lord of Harun and Musa. Alayhim salam. Now Fir'aun, you can imagine what he's thinking. He can't believe what's going on. He's enraged. He's baffled. He says, Amantum lahu qabla an adhana lakum. You believed in him before I gave you permission? He's in charge. I, I understand what's going on here. You people had this planned out from the very beginning to make me look dumb. He said, I will cut your right arm off and your left leg off. And then I will hang you from the branches of the trees. And then you will know who is more severe in punishment. You will know who is more harsh. So he threatens them. You leave this now. Otherwise you will regret it. They say, لَن نُؤْثِرَكَ عَلَى مَا جَاءَنَا مِنَ الْبَيِّنَاتِ وَالَّذِي فَطْرِ They said, we can never choose you over the truth that has come to us and over the one that created us. We can't choose you over Allah. فَقُضِ مَا أَنْتَقَادِ You do what you got to do. Do your worst, Fir'aun. Do what you got to do. إِنَّمَا تَقْضِي هَذِهِ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا What's the most you're going to do? What's the most that you can do? إِنَّمَا تَقْضِي هَذِهِ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا The most you can do is end the life of this world. إِنَّا آمَنَّا بِرَبِّنَا لِيَغْفِرَ لَنَا خَطَايَانَا وَمَا أَكْرَهْتَنَا عَلَيْهِ مِنَ السِّحْرِ وَاللَّهُ خَيْرٌ وَأَبَقَى You know, we have believed in our Lord who will forgive all of our sins and even the magic that you forced us to do. وَاللَّهُ خَيْرٌ وَأَبَقَى Allah is better and longer lasting. As long as we got Allah, you can do whatever it is that you feel you need to do. Because we'll be okay at the end of the day. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Himself, Allah Himself gives us the reflections. That's how beautiful this surah is. Allah gives us the reflections from this lesson. إِنَّهُ مَنْ يَأْتِ رَبَّهُ مُجْرِمًا فَإِنَّ لَهُ جَهَنَّمُ Somebody who comes to Allah as a criminal, without repenting, without realizing, without changing his or her ways, فَإِنَّ لَهُ جَهَنَّمْ That person, Jahannam, the fire of hell is reserved for that person. لَا يَمُوتُ فِيهَا وَلَا يَحْيَا That person will never die in the fire of hell, nor will that person really ever enjoy life. Because they won't be allowed to die, and that's not called living, that's no quality of life. They'll have a miserable existence. وَمَنْ يَأْتِهِ مُؤْمِنًا قَدْ عَمِلَ الصَّالِحَاتِ فَأُولَٰئِكَ لَهُمُ الدَّرَجَاتُ الْعُلَىٰ but somebody who comes to Allah as a firm believer and who has done good deeds, then for reserved specifically for them will be very high stages in the hereafter near Allah. Jannatu Adinin Tajri min tahti al anharu khalidina fiha wa dalika jazau man tazakka. The gardens of Eden, the gardens of paradise, rivers flowing from beneath these gardens. The Quran tells us rivers of pure water, rivers of milk that will never go sour, rivers of pure honey, rivers of the, the pure wine of paradise. And Khalidina fiya, they'll be in these gardens of paradise for all of eternity, forever and ever. And this is a reward of those people who purify themselves. When they see an opportunity, when they are dealt with the truth, when they hear the truth, they see the truth, they embrace that truth. They change themselves if that's what that truth is asking them to do. These magicians, former magicians, believers, shuhada, martyrs, they saw the truth. They witnessed the Messenger of Allah in action. And they made the conscious decision to change their life and their purpose of life. We are sitting here 
talking about listening to that same story, that same messenger. We are reading the Quran, listening to the Quran, interacting, witnessing a miracle. How much will it change us? That's a question we got to ask ourselves. So this was another installment of Stories of the Prophets, an exclusive from Quran Weekly. I want to thank everyone for watching. Make sure you share this with others. Jazakumullahu khayran. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Uh, at this point currently I'm dehydrated out of water as well so just putting this on record so hopefully people see this and hear this and if anything happens to me Quran Weekly did it